again, it's the two lenses. One is how does that affect you? How are you motivated by it? Um, and actually, how can you start to motivate yourself by driving that? And I talk, we talked we talked off air, I think, last week about this, Joe, but I'll, I'll reference it here and I'll do another show in a while. But I've stepped up my whole kind of little and often plan on, on trying to get stuff done. And I talked to you last week about the fact that for the, the month for January, I made myself like a to-do list and I broke that down into lots of little jobs. And I I got through, I would say, 90% of that, which really progressed on a lot of things for me. I, did, I was aware I needed to do, but I'd have done them with less... I don't think I'd have been as organised and I probably wouldn't have got as much done if I didn't have it there. And in fact, my last job of January was to create a new list for February, which I'm now working on. But because I can tick them off as I go and I have a little list of what I want to achieve as the board up activities and I can tick them off, for me, that gives me a good sense of achievement. So I'm kind of fueling my own what's in it for me by 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 driving that, knowing that that, what's, that is what makes me tick. So I think you can use it for your own self-motivation. You can gravitate towards activities that you know you're gonna get that fulfillment from, be it the to-do list or finishing last in a tennis tournament, whatever, whatever those things are. I think then you can be conscious, like the examples we talked about there, when you're in, if you need someone to do something for you, if you need some help, if you know they've got a skill that you could utilize, then how do you consciously make that a two-way transaction? What can you, again, directly or subconsciously give them in return or know that what makes them tick to, to help with that? So I think you can really use that as a tool, not only to be able to offer things out to people and get things back in return, but make people feel good about that, know what takes make them tick, actually give people a sense of positivity as well. And I think that can be, you know, again, personal life, work life, all of that becomes a really, really useful tool rather than just kind of putting stuff out there and hoping you get something in return and being that kind of, you know, the neighbor that always borrows something, but no one ever does anything in return and pretty soon you never get to borrow anything. So I think it's it's a really good thing to be conscious of and aware of. Uh